<laughs> you know, I'm sure there are times where people really wonder about me. You know, wonder. <laughs> well, in those times I tell them, and pray about it. <laughs> but you know, God has a kind of interesting way of talking to me. He just talks to me. He just tells me something and I go, oh yeah, wow, cool, let's go share it. You know, and I just want to tell you about it. You know, like what God may have spoken to me or told me or shared with me or given me, you know. I'd share Betsy with you, but it's mine. <laughs> you didn't expect that, did you? My Pepsi. And it's good. But you know, I've been dealing with this whole idea of flashlights lately. This is my my little Black & Decker kind of chargeable, rechargeable flashlight. You know, it's kind of it's one of those, you know, rechargeable things. You know, and it's pretty fancy because it can, you know, bend, you know, kind of like the old style flashlights. You know, and it's a three LEDs, you know. So it's kind of cool, you know. But I've been learning a lot about flashlights and people, you know, and how it relates to the gospel and kind of what people do lots of times. Oh, and in case you're wondering, this is my food. <laughs> Didn't have any bread, so made oh de coca. Actually, I just slapped a piece of meat and a couple pieces of cheese together, you know, and it's Quite frankly, some of you would have said, oh, cold cuts, you know, and folded it in quarters, you know, and then cut it, you know, and put a little fork in it, you know, put a, maybe a little olive and made it look really nice. See, I worked in the restaurant before. <laughs> yeah, I was a dishwasher. Let's see, dishwasher, prep cook, assistant cook, cook, uh, waiter. <laughs> yeah, I worked pretty much, my family has all worked in the restaurant industry. But, uh, food. So I know how to cook. I know how to make food look wonderful. And I know how to make food look appetizing. And I know how to just eat it. And that's really what... And all I want food for. Because to me it's boring. I just want to eat it. Now, I'll admit, if the food tastes good, I'll eat more of it. If not, I might eat less of it. Kind of like you. You eat what you like. Right? I've noticed an interesting thing about life. Man likes to invent his own life. We like to come up with little things like this, you know, to take whenever they work. We like to take our light and shine it on any place we see darkness. We like to look at things, you know, that are covered, reveal things that are hidden. look inside things that maybe we couldn't see before you know and kind of shine our light around you know wherever we can see things or can't see things and you know what's interesting is that when you take a flashlight you can do that you can take this flashlight you know and you can mmm 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 that's really good you can shine your light around you know you can point it there and Oh, point it over there, and oh, point it over there, and ooh, point it up there, and you can point it all over the place. But you know, only work for pointing, and whatever I point at is what is revealed in the light. Funny thing is. Sitting in the sunlight. I can see everything. You know, I can see some shade over there, which I may be going pretty soon because it's getting hot today. I can see some shadows over there. 
I can see some direct sunlight. I can even look up and see the source of light. But the interesting thing about sunlight, I don't see any darkness. You see, whenever the sun rises, the darkness flees. I find an interesting fact in that. Because when I take my little flashlight, you know, and I'm pointing it at somebody, I can only see what I'm pointing at. You know, so I gotta really look close to figure out what I'm pointing at. But I can only see where I'm pointing. You beginning to get the picture? A person standing in the sunlight is obvious. A person being pointed at with a flashlight, you only see part. There are a lot of Christians running around that have flashlights. They like to point out certain things. And depending on who's holding the flashlight, you only see a portion of what they're shining on, of what they're showing, of what they're revealing by the flashlight that they have. Hmm. Well, they may have a spotlight. You know, the big, giant, old, those beams, you know, have 10,000, you know, candle, KPH or whatever. Maybe it's super bright. And, you know, you just can't, oh, I can't see because it's so bright. Wow. You know, and the person standing in the light, wow, they're like trapped in it, that giant spotlight. You know, kind of like when police officers, you know, shine the light on your car and you go, oh, and suddenly the light is flooding your car, you know, and you can't see and you can't drive and you're like, oh, no, what have I done? If it's dark. But, you know, if it's light, that spotlight isn't quite so bright. It doesn't seem to reveal anything new that the sunlight hasn't already shown, hasn't already revealed, hasn't already made everyone aware of, because everybody can see in the sunlight. You see, it's only when in darkness that someone can use a flashlight. Sometimes I find Christians do that. They like to bring their own darkness in order to shine the light on it. They tell me lots of times about how wrong somebody is by telling me how dark it is. You know, like right now they would say to me, I gotta tell you, you know, it's really dark out. So I'll go, looks like sunlight. Well, no, 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 that's not sunlight. That's, that's kind of like the sun, you know, streaming in some light through the clouds, filtered to you as it comes through the trees and the shades, you know, and if you look real close, you can see there's some, there's some shadows down there, you know, and be careful because, you know, that shadow, here, let me take my flashlight and show you that shadow, you see, see, let me take flashlight, here's on, well, look down there at that shadow, you know, and just focus your attention on that shadow, now I go, but I got the sunlight. What do I need the shadow for? Why do I need a flashlight on? Isn't it kind of stupid to put the flashlight on when you're in the sunlight? And you know, they'll tell me, you know, about how I need to focus in. Put on my glasses. You know, and they'll point out, as they often do, what's wrong with somebody or something or some ministry. They always point at people that are in the light. You know, they never really point out someone in darkness, you know, to share the light, you know, like taking a flashlight and using it to lead someone. You know, that's kind of what I use my flashlight for. You see, whenever I'm at night, whenever I go out in the dark, you know, I can't see where my footsteps are, get the picture, then I shine the light kind of a little bit on the ground in front of me so I know where I'm going because I point it downward in order to see where I'm going to walk or I point it straight ahead so that part of the glow shows me where I'm going. I don't point it in somebody's eyes so that they can't see. I don't point it on somebody in order to see what they are. 
I point it kind of down at the ground so that all of us can use the light that was man-made. Because actually, if it was sunlight, of course, we wouldn't need the flashlight, would we? Jesus says something interesting. He said to me one time, Walk in the light as he is in the light, and have fellowship one with another. I thought about that. I said, Lord, you said walk in the light. And he said, yeah. And I said, like you're in the light. And you said, yeah. And I said, so I would have fellowship. And he said, yeah. One with another, like my brothers. He said, yeah. So I said, the Lord. <sighs> Oops, almost choked. Got to make sure you chew on that. Think about it for a minute. Hmm. So I said, Lord. He said, yeah. How come... How come what? How come somebody don't have fellowship one with another? He said, What do you think? I said, Well, Lord, you said, and he said, Yeah. If we walk in the light, we should, Yeah. As you're in the light. And he said, yeah. Then we have fellowship one with another. And the Lord looked at me and said, yeah. So, if they don't have fellowship, does that mean they're not walking in the light? The Lord didn't say anything. What's he saying to you? If you're in the light, as he is in the light, you have fellowship one with another. But if you don't have fellowship one with another, it could be that somebody's in darkness. Now, you could tell me that that sun is darkness. You could tell me that Really, I need to use a flashlight in the middle of the day. You could even tell me with instructions how to use my flashlight to see certain things. But you know, I think as long as I'm in the light and he's in the light, I really don't need men and women to give me their flashlight, do I? You see, more often than not, because I'm in the light of his word, and I'm in the brightness of his countenance, I need to put a hat on, because it's so bright, I don't have time to look for the darkness. Because wherever the light is, darkness flees. And I don't have to point it out. It runs away from where I am. Because I'm in the light, as he is in the light. You don't need to walk in darkness. You just need to get back into the light. And you know, those people with flashlights pointing out all these different things with this little light of theirs, that they can see so much better than God can? Maybe I'll let them go with their light and point out things and do what they want to do. But for me, I think I'm going to catch a suntan. You know, catch a few rays. Enjoy 
the light that I've been given. Maybe that's what you should do. Enjoy the light of His countenance as He shines upon you and leads you in the way that you should go. But as for me, I think I'll walk in the light and forget about flashlights.